Hi guys, how are you? What have you been up to? It is the first week of Advent. We are on the 2nd of December. Advent calendars have been opened all over the country of Glee. Oh, it was so exciting. I love this time. I love this time of year. Sorry, I don't know where my focus goes. I moved. Oh, that's not my focus. <laughs> oh, dear. Bit better. Anywho, if you've been here before or you subscribe to me, hello, hi, how are you doing? Welcome back. If you haven't, I'm Tanya from Tanya Talks. A lot. Today's video, I wanted to try out this idea. I had it an idea in my head for an easy first week of Advent look that you could wear to the work if you're still working on the school run. You could wear it for Christmas dinner if you wanted to. You could wear it when you're in your Christmas bubble. Um, the execution may not have paid out as well as the idea in my head but I tried and it's kind of cool Christmas baubles on your winged eyeliner looking like they're hanging off I thought it was cute and a fun idea I mean there are so many different ideas out there and I know that loads of you are really arty so you can probably take this idea and create amazing amazing things but you know again it's a bit of eyeliner a bit of colour wang it you know sort of looks like it there's so many options so many colours so I wanted to go with something fun, festive. This is what I came up with. I hope you like it. Don't think it's too shite. You can understand what I was going for and enjoy watching me make it. So here we go. Sorry it's such a close up of my head. I'm just trying to get into the eyes a bit better. <laughs> oh, the joys, the joys. So, put a bit of the cut crease canvas on as my eye primer. Tiny little bit, because I don't think you need loads. <laughs> Brush it in, and then we'll use a beauty blender to really, you know, blend it. Oh, Tanya, you're so stupid. So, so stupid. So, how's it going, everyone? Got some Advent calendars? Chocolate, beauty, alcohol ones. I saw a cheese one the other day. I love cheese. I don't know if I go that far as wanting an Advent calendar. But then, like I said, I do, do, do love cheese. I've eaten lots of cheese, especially when I was pregnant. Oh, blocks and blocks and blocks. Blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks of cheese. Okay. I want this look to be really simple and like you can wear it to work, you can wear it on the school run, you could wear it in your Christmas bubble when it's Christmas. It's just, you know, it's a fun Christmassy look if I can get it to go to plan. So as it's quite not sort of subtly colours, subtle, subtle colours, we're going to use the eyeshadows from the Barry M Get Shapey palette. So, we're going to use a nice lucky, lucky brush. I'm going to use the soft blender brush. No, I shouldn't put the blending brush. So, get myself closer. <laughs> We're gonna use, use this one, not this one, that one. The lighter brown is like a transition shade just to sort of do our crease a bit. Wait for me! 
don't know why, it's like, you know, what is it? 2nd of December and I've got Titanic songs in my head. I do love Titanic though. Oh, I do, I do. I own a Heart of the Ocean necklace. It's going to be my something blue for the wedding. Okay, what can I say? I like it, I like it a lot. I've got this really annoying habit, which if people watch me regularly, you might notice. I have my mouth open when I do stuff. I frown and I have my mouth open when I do my makeup. It's very bizarre. I don't know why. I do apologise. Build it up a little bit. We will use oh, I'm so bad at this bit. That's slightly darker pan. That one there. <laughs> I will get the hang of it, like a slightly smaller brush. Deepening up our crease a little bit. Wuffy, wuffy, wuffy. Wuffy, wuffy, wuffy. Just deepen it all up a little bit. It should be really nice and easy if it goes to play. <gasps> That's better, Pam. Do Christmas songs. Oh. The excitement's building now. The excitement. Once well, those advent calendars doors start getting open, you know, you know then. Okay, and we're gonna actually use maybe that dark one that is an eyebrow eyebrow shade but who cares multi-use use like a blendy pencil brush and use that sort of cut out a bit more and I'll crease with it If you've got deep set eyes like me, you're going to do it like this. You want to do it a bit higher. Otherwise, you're not really going to see any of that. So it's all going to get taken up. So when you open your eyes, you've got your like your like your shade on down the bottom to define it a bit. Right. Yeah, Apple, I do apologise. I need to sort my fringe out. Am I gonna do it again? Am I not gonna do it again? Am I gonna grow it out? Oh. Decisions, decisions. Little decisions, but instead of thinking about little things and worrying about like anything else right now, you don't want to be thinking about. Other stuff. I want to be enjoying things now that it's starting to eat up a little bit. Now this is a blended, tapered blending brush. We'll just go in, soften it up a bit and blend out that darker.
You must be Tracker. See, I am. And I'm so happy you're a pet. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's weird not having a fringe. I've had it for so long now. But now it's growing out. It's like, should I just keep it grown out? I mean, what do I do for the wedding if it happens this year? Do I have a fringe? Do I not have a fringe? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've been stolen. I think it's cute. I hope I get the Christmas presents I'm going to ask the other half for. I can hope. We can help, guy. Right, so we'll put a bit of the um, cut crease revolution stuff on the back of my old hand pandy again. I'm not going to use the brush. I don't really like the brush that came with their set. Not being horrible to you. A nice, firm, flatter, roundy brush. And hopefully, I'm going to cut it. But a little bit if you've got deep set eyes. Right at the bottom there. And then look up. And it marks, if you can see that, where you should put your creek. I hope you can see that. You see that little line up there? So that is where we want to. That line so that it actually works. Sorry, I go so silent when I do this, but I always find I should some music. Well, I'll put I'll put some nice music on when I edit it. I just feel like uh, maybe I should like do it and do a voiceover. But then, what would you say in your voiceover? And this is me putting on the cut crease canvas primer, concealer stuff to cut the crease. Uh, it takes a while to get it in there. And I don't even know why I did that voice. I'm sorry. I don't know what I do half the time. And then I'm just going to take the beauty blender and put a little bit of powder on it because I do find it gets a little bit tacky for me. I don't want it to transfer anywhere else. We don't want it. We don't want it, Yeah. Try and cut the other one and see if I can get it to go better like that one did. My little one, well, not my little ones, but the eldest is quite funny. Her auntie brought a really nice Barbie. And Frank Calendar, which is awesome because you get the Barbie on one day and then all the accessories and clothes and outfits and little pet and everything. And her daddy got me like a little Reese's Pieces and Frank Calendar from Aldi a little or something. <laughs> Even though she's got that really nice Barbie when she saw it, and went, oh my god, that's my favourite chocolate. Can I have some? Can I have some? And I was like, okay, my darling. Nothing is safe for me, I can. But if you touch their stuff and move it, it's instantly like, whoa, that was nice. Okay, put it near your eyelashes. Or get them on your eyelashes like I just did there. Well done, Tessa. And then. And there's your mark again. You see that one? Not there, it goes there when you've got deep set eyes. And it lets you know 
Where the mark out that Sorry guys, camera cut out. I tell you, I can't wait so I can get the one that shoots 30 minutes continuous without having to keep looking at it. Because when you get into something and it only does like 12 so minutes, sometimes you are busy. I'm talking to you or I'm rambling on like I do or I'm busy trying to do something and it's like, oh shit. But anyway, we'd finished the cut crease on this one. What I did was I added a lighter shimmery sort of brown on the outside edges up and deep in the crease again. And then we did a winged eye. I had to put a bit of translucent powder over it because it started transferring. I just I looked up at the wrong minute, but it blended in okay. And we're going to try and finish this one, so at least you can watch me do that. But we haven't got to the fun bit yet, so that's okay. We haven't got to the fun bit yet, so I'll keep an eye on the time for that because, you know, I want you to be there when we do the fun bit. So keeping the brush on that line you've done, wing it back down and then fill it in. I always end up with it too. Too thick than what I wanted. I need to learn. I need to learn not to make my wings so thick. I'm out of focus. Okay, sorry guys. I mean, what is it? Why can I never get it thin? That is going to be my goal, isn't it? Try and get a thinner winged eyeliner. Try and go as thin as I can. And there's always one that's gone different. That one has gone a bit more wood than that one. Put a little bit deeper in the crease on top of our cut crease bit. Right, for the fun bit. So now the eyeliner is on, thicker than what I wanted, but like I said, it's a learning game. I think I get too carried away instead of having the patience just to follow the line through and just go, whoop, I always end up having to go that way too long and it gets too thick. But live and learn, live and learn. We'll practice another day and see if I can make it go and just stop. And we'll try a spoon hack, because that's going to work. So that could be a fun video. Does a spoon thing really work? Anyway, for the fun bit that I've been talking about, I'm going to try and use the NYX White Liquid Eyeliner. Give it a shake. And see if we can make our ball balls. I don't know how many to make. I wanted to try and make it look like they're hanging on the winged eyeliner, so it's sort of like... Mm. 
looking like their foot stover, the winged eyeliner, make some little round I only have room for one bauble on each eye because unless I made my wing down again all the way out there I have to see if it's one bauble on each eye that's fine it's only a fun little easy thing I don't think I've done my line small I have to get in a couple but hey it's just for the fun mm -hmm. Some nice big Christmas baubles hanging on your eyeballs. It's like Christmas baubles hanging from Pat Butcher's earrings. Mm, those that are English and used to watch these this when Pat Butcher was in it. But now we've got them hanging from our wing dial. baby one over here. The other one on the other side is not a lot bigger. Okay, and then we'll get some nice baubly, baubly colours. Which we use? Should we use a glittery shiny blue or green? Should we do a green? Let's see. Green It's just filling in your bauble. With your colours. Build up the bauble colour so till you're happy with it. If you've got a bigger winged eyeliner, you can put more on, or if you draw smaller, thinner, neat lines than me, you can put a couple of baubles on there.
Okay, what can we do to make that look more bobbly? Got a baby bauble and a bigger bauble. Bigger bauble and a baby bauble. I don't know if you can see it through the side of the panel. I've got to get some fingers now. Bear with me. Bigger baubles. I like this one, the bigger one. It's a bit more baubly. A bit more baubleish. Baubleish. You could use any colour, you can try and fit more than one on. If I had my wings going up longer, but they would have been huge because they've got really thick. Maybe do a couple. Like I said, maybe you're better at thinner lines than me. You can do gold lines, you could do black lines to fill them in, whatever colours you want, whatever form, you could do patterns in. probably create something a lot better than what I did but you know the idea was there and it's just something different and easy and quick that looks a bit Christmassy and you could wear it to work but to finish it off we'll do a strongish lip just bear with what I find my stuff Now, either the cat or my youngest has got hold of my lip liner and has chewed the end out of it. Now, I'm glad it's not the actual eyeliner a bit, but this is really annoying. And I've come down and some of your makeup brushes are missing as well. But I've got a feeling it might be a child because remember the other video, if you watched it, where she went off with my lipstick and my powder. But hey ho! We're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. You don't have to put up with this much longer. Just line the lips. Sorry, I had a dinner break in between filming. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Bit of food. That's so messy. So just filling in the lips with the vinyl cherry by iHeart Revolution. 
Line the lips in the dark pink liner from Barry M. And this is the Machine Cherry, like a light red colour. They smell like cherries, they go on really nice. It's a really nice doe for applicator. Red's always a good colour for Christmas. Red's always a good colour. It's not like a major strong, I mean the, the eyeliner is quite strong, but like I said I went thicker on my wings than I meant to. Other than that, it's quite a sort of simple, sort of natural cut crease and then your ball balls, so you know it's not too strong an eye so the red lip helped balance it out but anyway guys there it is it's a fun christmas look for the first week of advent it's you know it's easy it's fun it's wearable i'm sure there are lots of different ways you could do it lots of different patterns you arty guys out there make it look incredible stunning you probably do amazing looks now hopefully this has given you an idea um I'm not overly arty, I like art, but things like this just aren't always in my realm. <laughs> but um, the ideas are there and I tried and I think it came off okay. So like I said, it's just a fun, easy, work to the office for, you know, if you're, if you're working, if you can work or, you know, wear it on the school run if, you know, you've got kids stuff like that nice easy simple thing if you liked it and you enjoyed what I tried to do or the idea at least then gives it a thumbs up um, don't forget to like subscribe hit the dingaling I hope you have a wonderful day um, stay safe Just try and stick to your restrictions no matter how hard they are Just you know try and have fun enjoy everything that's happening run up to Christmas Thank you so much to everyone who watches and the people that have been giving my videos likes. Thanks to everyone who's turned on, even if they just leave <laughs> really soon after. I'm sorry I turn you off, I'm trying to turn you on. Um, to my subscribers, the few I have that have stayed loyal and keep watching and subscribing, you're very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this journey. It does mean so, so much to me. And remember, every single one of you out there watchers, likers, subscribers, just anyone and everyone. Remember you are important. So again, have a great day. Bye!